Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In a recent interview, the HAL's chairman R. Madhavan has told that HAL has set the deadline as March 2022 for the first flight of LC Tejas MK1A. HAL has also set a deadline of November 2021 to place purchase orders for the raw materials so that the machining activities can begin from the next year onwards. All the necessary design activity related to Tejas MK1A is complete. The preliminary design review is over, including the critical design review for several systems such as mission computer, digital map generator and digital flight control systems. HA is also integrating the active electronic scanned array AESA radar and the electronic warfare suite on the final operational clearance FOC version of the LCA. After it is proven in FOC LCA, HAL will start integration on MK1A version. AEC radar will provide superior detection, tracking and targeting capabilities to Tejas. HAL will then move towards getting the certification from Center of Military Airworthiness and Certification CEMI LSE by mid-2023, after which it will start the production of Tejas MK1A. HL has planned to deliver 14 Tejas of FOC standard to Indian Air Force by March-April 2022 out of which 4 has already been delivered. Once all 14 is complete, HL will begin the production of Tejas trainer aircraft. The Indian Air Force has ordered total 18 trainer jet which are planned to be delivered by the end of 2023 which seems quite possible considering HL production rate of 16 to 20 Tejas per year. By this time, HL would have completed the required certification of CMI LSE for Tejas MK1A and it can start MK1A production. As per deal signed between HL and Air Force, 83 Tejas MK1A are to be delivered to Indian Air Force. Out of these, 73 jets are going to be single-seated Tejas MK1A and 10 LCA MK1A trainer aircraft. The delivery of Tejas MK1A is supposed to start after 3 years of signing of the contract that is delivery of this mk one a will start from February 2024. HL will have to deliver Indian Air Force the first two aircraft in 2024, 8 in 2025 and the remaining in batches by 2029 at the rate of 14 to 16 fighters every year. Therefore, looking at the present scenario, we can comfortably say that this mk one a delivery will be on time to Indian Air Force. As per HL's chairman, it is working on tight schedule, but HL may deliver all the aircraft ahead of time. Next week, HL is also likely to announce a multi-million dollar engine deal with US firm GE Aviation for 99 F404 engines which will power the Tejas fighter jet. Expected to be worth around $700 million, the engine deal is the biggest contract awarded by HL for the project. The existing LCA variants use the same engine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.